Yo, 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 it's your boy Dingo here, and today I'm going to teach you how to get diamond camo for your LMGs. This video is going to include a full 360 and first person perspective of every gun. Also a list of every challenge necessary to get them diamond, so you can figure out if getting your favorite gun diamond is worth it. LMGs and diamond is definitely the most bang for your buck as far as diamonds go. These guns are so blinged out that you'll blind your enemies before you mow them down. The only weapon that has more diamond swag than the LMGs is diamond riot shields, which I'll be teaching you how to get diamond specials in the next production. Alright, so let's get to what you need to do to get your LMGs diamond. You need to start by getting 100 headshots. After you have your 100 headshots completed, you're going to unlock the gun challenges. The gun challenges for LMGs are all the same for all four LMGs. Challenge 1 is to get 10 long shot medals. Challenge 2 and 3 are to get 150 kills with no perks and no attachments on your gun. The 4th challenge is to get 20 double kill medals. And the 5th challenge is to get 10 bloodthirsty medals. I'm going to thank you prematurely for clickety clacking that like button right now. I want to take a brief moment to let you know if you need any additional help with anything on your guns from help figuring out how far a long distance medal is to what attachments really complement each gun, or pretty much anything Call of Duty, you can contact me with any of the links in the description. I'm fairly knowledgeable and at your disposal, so if you need advice, don't hesitate to contact me. For the quickest responses, contact me at the Dingo Mang on Twitter. Alright, let's get a little rundown going for each of these weapons. Before this game, I rarely ever use LMGs, because who wants to use a heavy ass weapon that takes forever to start firing, and isn't that accurate? But I have to say, Black Ops 2 has done a great job of balancing out the LMGs to compete with its other weapons. So let's start with the MK48. This gun makes me feel like every other COD LMG. It's slow and heavy with a large magazine that doesn't have much accuracy. Definitely in my opinion the worst LMG in Black Ops 2. The LSW and Hammer are practically the same gun, but both kick ass. I would take one of these two over 90% of the assault rifles in this game. Both of them have great damage and a quick fire rate. The LSW and Hammer are both light enough to keep you moving and pull up to be fired quick enough that you can win a gunfight. They offer that big LMG clip size without the need to camp. The LSAT is an all around a solid gun, but not the best in any one particular area. The LSAT has a medium range, damage, fire rate, and accuracy. So it isn't the best for any gunfight, but it'll be ready to take on any situation it's placed in. Now that you've done your 100 headshots and your 5 challenges for each and all of the LMGs, when you get your 4th LMG gold, Diamond Camo will automatically be unlocked. When Diamond Camo is unlocked, it's unlocked for all 4 of your LMGs. Just go back to your creator class, select the gun, and go into the camo, and then equip Diamond. Now you have Diamond Camo for your LMGs. Make sure to tune in for the next episode where I'll be showing you how to get Diamond Specials, and if you missed any of the previous Diamond tutorials, make sure to check those out. As always, I've been Dingo, and you stay classy. Oh, oh damn! damn. <laughs> Oh damn. 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 Oh damn.